Good morning guys, David Hoffman here from David's Been Here coming at you from beautiful Manrupo, Guyana. Today I'm so excited because I'm taking you on a Guyanese food tour in and around Georgetown. We're starting off right here at Sunny and Sweetie Roti Shop at 9 in the morning. Stacy, what are we doing? We are here. I am so excited for you to taste this food. It's some of the best Creole food in Guyana. They have like um, sawfish and bake. You're going to try that. We're going to have some chicken curry with coconut choca, some provision with sawfish. Man, but you're going to have a ball. You're going to enjoy it. Okay, so perfect. So let's go. Let's go. So you're going to see local spot. It's open air. They have right here just a window, lots of food. Let's order some food. So I'll have a sausage and bake, melange choker and roti, chicken curry with um, dal, rice, and melange and um, coconut choker. I think she got So we're basically getting everything they got here, right? Yeah. Almost everything. So this is breakfast right here? Um, some of them are breakfast, some you can do for lunch. Okay. Right? Like the uh, dollar rice with the chicken curry, that's Ready? lunch. So that's how it works here, right? You just come straight up to the counter and you order whatever they got here. That is what's available. So we got some okra, we have a big mix of things, right? All in small little cartons. That's good. And they have some Pringles, they have like um, some drinks, they have instant coffee. I need a coffee right now I wake up. Yeah, I'm starving. I can't wait. All right, Stacey, I'm excited. This looks absolutely amazing. So what do we got? So these are some of my personal favorite items. Some of them are for breakfast, you can have for lunch, but what we have here, this is pachoni or sheep belly, and it's curried. So we're gonna have that with some roti. This is salt fish and bake. Okay. This is, well, we have three chokas here. This is the fish choker. So this is um, really nice, has some lime juice in there. This is baigan choker, balanje choker, the eggplant as you know it. Mm -hmm. And this is our legendary chicken curry and dal and rice with coconut choca. With coconut choca. Yeah. So what's choca? So choca is basically you take like um, vegetables or in this case fish and you pound it. So it's are pounded. Yeah, you okay. pound it up and you put a lot of seasonings in there. Fantastic. So each one of them is made a little differently. Like the baigan choca, you have to roast the eggplant. Yeah, of course. You stuff it up with garlic, you put pepper, you put onions, you oh. put shallow tomatoes and it's just delicious. And with the beautiful roti, right? With the roti. Look at that. Huge roti. Yeah, my mouth is watering for this, man. Which one you want to try first? I think the bacon saltfish. Go, right? go for it. So we get this beautiful <laughs> bake. So just get a little bit, right? Go for is it. Is that okay? We'll yeah, grab a little bit. Yeah. And then we put go in, right? Just grab a lot. Yeah. So the saltfish, you basically fry the saltfish with a lot of onions, tomatoes. Okay. Yeah. It's just like that. It's just so good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> oh, I love it. Mmm. Got onion here, got tomato. Man, this is so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love the bake. The bake is like a nice, fluffy bread. Lots it of is. layers. We just go in here, grab a bunch. I mean, if you want to take this like quick, you know, breakfast, put it up and it's sandwich, right? Breakfast on the go. You got it. Quick, easy, filling, delicious. Mmm. Oh, I love this saltfish. I can eat this every day. Every day. Same, same here. Okay. There's a lot here. So, what do you want to do? Next? I would recommend you dive into the baigan choker. Like roasted eggplant, right? Yeah, this is roasted, delicious. It has like a smoky flavor. Mmm. Is that smoky flavor? Mm hmm. Oh, I yeah. love it. If you guys don't know, this is my favorite vegetable in the world eggplant. And wow. this is my favorite breakfast in Guyana. Uh huh. Baigan chokan roti. I love it. Mmm. It's so easy to eat. Not spicy. If you do want spice, you got your. Right here, right? Of course. Mm hmm. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. And it's, I mean, you, now you're getting a little bit of a kick, right? Tiny bit. Tiny bit. So I'm gonna do this and then get some of the spice because I have to try it. <laughs> a little bit. You gotta be careful with the spice in Guyana. Mm. We're really pepping. This is a must. I can see like the pepper in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's not overpowering. Yeah, it's not too much. And then next to it, we have the fish choker, right? Yes. Same thing, you use, use this. Yeah. 
So always with the roti, yeah, that's fine right there. And we go you in. You can see the pepper in here. This is the blueberry pepper. Okay, that's mine then. <laughs> you can just leave it right there. Oh, look, another one. Another one? I'll just grab it. There you go. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, the chocolates fall apart. Mm -hmm. mm. She told me there's like a splash of lime juice in here for mm -hmm. freshness. Oh, that we we. You got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Luckily, I got some coffee. Flush it down. Oh yeah, that we we're really gonna oh. hit you. Oh wow. Damn, that's spicy. You gotta be careful with that. Mm. Oh, but I love the fish, right? So it's it's pounded. So it feels like it's all diced up. Right. But it's pounded. You got some onions in there. What else we got in there? Some uh, chives, right? Yeah. No, not chives, uh, green onions. Some shallot, as we mm -hmm. say shallot here in the other. Mm. I love the pairing with the roti too. This roti, as you can see, it's a little different from the rotis that you'll get in the States, right? This one's flakier. It's been on the... On the... Tawa. On the tawa. So the pachoni. Pachoni. Oh, yeah. I mean, just grab? Just grab. Look at that. This is sheep stomach curry, basically. Yeah. Oh, I'll have more. Mm. So tender. So meaty. Oh, nice and soft. This is. And then again, pair with roti. That's the hard part. If you're gonna eat everything with roti, you're gonna fill up. You're gonna fill up the. This is one of their most popular dishes here. Oh Italian yeah, sweeties, yeah, the pachoni. Well known for the pachoni. And then I love it because it has this rich curry. You know, the brown curry. It's a little different from like the yellow or the yeah. red one, right? Very nice. Mm hmm A lot of depth of flavor there. So much flavor. Mmm. Really good. Was like slowly cooked. Yeah, exactly. That's what it tastes like. Like slow grandma cooking. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh yeah. Had a piece right there. It felt like a liver right there. Probably is right. This might be my favorite. <laughs> this might be the favorite right here. Stacy's bringing in the curry yes. chicken. No, no chicken curry. Oh. <laughs> oh no, don't get me in trouble. Yes, it's chicken curry. So I'm gonna just pour the doll over it. All right. Oh. Just drown it, huh? Just drown it. <laughs> I want you to try this because it's a little bit of everything you gotta get. You gotta get some of the chicken, some of the dal, some of the rice, and the coconut choke is a must. So, so let's give it a try. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh wow. The coconut. Mmm, the dal. Everything is great combined. That is delicious. That is amazing. Isn't That's it? amazing. So it's, it's grated coconut that has been pounded yes. into this little ball. With lot, with, yes, you form it into a ball. It has a lot of great spices in there. And it, it's a must with any chicken curry, dollar rice, fish curry. You can do it. Awesome. I mean, I love this. The mix, right? The combo. Once you love pepper, you can love coconut. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me get some of this chicken. Just grab a bunch of it. Mm -hmm. You see the pepper in there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That grated coconut gives it so much flavor. Mmm. I'm gonna get some of this. Just add a little bit of spice. Just that rice and here we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh wow. It's not so bad the spice. No, I have some more of the bacon soft fish. This. I love this experience, you know, right here in a different part of Georgetown. Oh no, it's called the just out of Georgetown. Just out. Monrepo. 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 So it's like a 20-minute drive. Yes, and this is right opposite another iconic place, which is the Monrepo Market. Mm -hmm. So it's very easy for them to get fresh ingredients. The market is right across the street. What's your favorite of all these? It's hard to choose, but I love bacon choco. Yeah. I love bacon choco. I love everything, but I think this is my favorite right here. This is unreal. And they actually mixed in a few different organs because I was jumping yeah. around and I felt the kidney. Like liver and mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, look at this. Mm -hmm. I like saltfish too. Mmm. So. Mmm. Food's too good. I was Guyanese in the last You don't life, know right? what, to, what to eat next, right? You don't know. Let's keep going in. But we'll, we'll limit ourselves, right? Because we still have a long day of eating. 
It's a great thing. You literally close it, take it home. Exactly. And so, apart from morning, 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 morning. Hi, morning. morning. <laughs> apart from all of this, Sonia's video also has um, you can get cook up rice, you can get Guyanese chow mein, you can get fried rice. There are tons of other stuff, and you can get fish curry, catfish curry. So cook the cook up. That's the one thing I'm missing, right? Yeah. So traditionally, you use dal with dal and rice, coconut choco, chicken curry, uh -huh. but you can drink it too. Yeah, so they put it in a cup so you can drink it, right? Put it in a cup, drink that doll. Mmm, nice. It's light. Very Good flavor light, though. Very light. Guyanese doll is a different kind of doll, right? Because everything we love to season up is, you know, you got the good stuff is in there. It's fantastic. I mean, it's a nice cleanser too, you know? Like if you're going between these dishes, you're mixing too many flavors here, have a little bit of doll, right? That's a great, that's a great suggestion. I'm so accustomed to having it with roti. I actually use dollar roti. So you just dip? So you just like soak the roti in the doll and you... <laughs> You're telling me to do something, I gotta do it. Let's do it, let's do it. Just, just drop this in here, right yeah. there. Just soak it. Uh-huh. Like that? That's how I like to have my... Just like that? Okay. Dollar roti. <laughs> mm-hmm. Fantastic. There's no wrong way to eat any of this. That's what I love. You There's guys can no just mix, way. right? You just mix it. The roti with the baigan choco, fish choco, curry, the doll by itself, doll with the rice. I love it. There's no wrong way. Well, I'm going to take a break. And before and after you eat, wash your hands. They have these little washing stations. They have one here and one at the very end by the bathroom. Yeah. Oh, man, how you doing? Yeah. Shadi, how you doing? You good? Yeah, yeah. I loved it, man. Amazing, thank you. All right. Oh, I'm full. But next up, we still have some pastries. We're going to Maggie's Snack It, the most famous pastry shop in Guyana. Let's roll. After about a 15 minute drive, we're back in the center of town and we are literally entering the center center where the Bola Market is, where the Guyana shop is, and over here we're going to Maggie's Snack It? Yes. Snack It, yeah. Maggie's Snack It. Correct. And that's the, the most famous pastry shop. In Guyana. Most famous. Yep. All right, we're going into the kitchen here at Maggie's. Look at that. I have a headpiece. I don't need it though. <laughs> What's happening here? So many pastries. So little stomach. <laughs> What's up, guys? How you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You good? Yeah, good. <laughs> oh, awesome, awesome, dude. Yeah. David, pleasure. Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, nice what are you doing you. here? Uh, cheese roll and pine tart. That's pineapple, right? Pine tart is pineapple? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The pine um, straw. Pine straw, okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. So it's dough and then you have this like, almost like a marmalade, right? Like, it's, yeah, like a, yeah, almost yeah. like a jam. Definitely, definitely. Amazing. So Mr. Simon's gonna show me how to do a pine tart, how to roll it out, right? Yes. Okay. Very simple. Mm -hmm. Two steps. Beautiful. That's it? Yeah. Good? But you Should I close it a little bit more? Yeah, close it to keep the jam in. Yeah, so I can't have too many holes. Yeah. Let's go over one more time. Maybe. One more time. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Left side first, like roll it that. Perfect. Yeah. And then and right side. And then just keep that closed. Yeah. And, then, and then oh. Is that fine? Yes. Beautiful. And you finish it up. Yeah. You just fork it. One, two, three, four. And just like that. And that's it. Pine tack. I love this guy. Alright, so that's the cheese roll and that's going in the oven. So how many of these do you do per day? Um, close to a thousand to twelve hundred. Oh, oh just, just with the pine tart? No, well the pine tart is like four hundred. Okay, okay, so how? Like, yeah. Simon, I'm trying everything. <laughs> <laughs> so next you're gonna be doing the cheese roll. Yeah, cheese roll. So it's more of a square, right? Yeah, more of a square. And instead of we roll all at one time, we're going to cut char this. Okay. And then we're going to go to the, um, the fillet. Oh, what's that? Oh, wow, that's chicken? Yeah. No, that's cheese. Oh, it's cheese. cheese? Yeah, cheese, mustard, pepper. Fastest mm -hmm. way in folding a cheese roll. Right? You get the farkas? Mm hmm. Well, this guy's a pro. Simon's the pro. So I guess it's my turn to do it. I'm yeah. going to try it, okay? Uh, one pull, two pull, right? That's if it. you don't get it um, the first time, no problem. Yeah. Right? One pull, two pull. 
take it to the both sides. To the both sides, like yeah, that? Both sides, left to right. I'm trying, I'm trying. Yeah, it's this, this is a little messed up. But to me, I want to put it a little bit more to the One cheese roll for hour. Maybe like. <laughs> one cheese roll for hour? No. Oh. Is that okay? I'm going to see you with your two fold. That, that's enough. Okay, so put that back in there. Okay, so like all right, this. Uh, like that? Is that good? If you want, you can fork. So fork, so you do fork here and no, fork here. First thing, turn your fork over like this. Okay. Thing, and fork the two ends first. So like that? No. No? <laughs> Press it flat. Press right. it flat. Oh, Press flat. flat. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Like that. Yeah. Something and like give that. Give me one more fork here, one more fork here. So, mm, yeah. uh, there you go. I'm trying, I'm trying. Two? Three. Uh, come to the end. Four. Beautiful. I tried. And then you cut out the two ends. Okay, so with the knife. No, oh, no, no. With the four, with the three, four. What am I doing here? All right, so here? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, right here. Evenly. Uh, voila. Voila. So this is mine right here. Beautiful. My man. Good to see you, right? Thank you so much. And all the best in your endeavors, man. Appreciate you, dude. Simon's the man. Big fan. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I don't know your name. Sorry. Chris. 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 Yeah. Chris. Yeah. He's a fan now. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Guys, amazing, amazing experience. Stacy, I am ready. This is exciting. How do we start with this? Listen, if you come to Guyana, you have to try our pastries. It's a must, and there's no better place to get it than Mighty Snack It. They have been doing this for over 20 years and perfected it. So these are some of the iconic uh, pastries. This one is cheese roll. Pine tart and or patty. patty. I don't know if this is beef or chicken, but it comes in you know different varieties. I think it says chicken. Vegan. It's chicken. This is chicken. Perfect. So which one you want to try first? I think we'll go with this one because this is like the one that's not the hottest. <laughs> Those just came out of the oven, right? Yes. But the pastry is gonna be really buttery and flaky, and inside you're gonna have the pineapple filling. So just like that. Yeah. Oh wow, beautiful. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Flaky, buttery. Mm -hmm. The sweetness of the pine. Oh, the pineapple is amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Only in Guyana. Well, I think so. Yeah, that we know of, only in Guyana pine tart. Oh, it's amazing. You know yeah. what? I'm gonna have another bite. A bigger bite here. Mm hmm. So good. Buttery, flaky. Mmm. Oh, this is so delicious. Yeah. This pastry is so good. You just had the sweetness, let's go to the savory. Mm hmm So the cheese roll. Cheese roll. Same Ooh. dough, but a cheesy filling. Oh. Oh look my that. gosh. It's like steaming. Mm. Mm hmm mm hmm mm. mm. It just melts into the pastry, right? It melts. Well, I mean, it's super hot, just came out of the oven. Of course, most people, would, when they get it, they go to Maggie's to the actual store. Flaky pastry. Mm -hmm. But usually in the store, they have everything sitting there. And it's been there for a minute, so it's not going right. to be like this. Exactly. You know? mm -hmm. Lovely. I personally like the pine. Is this the one you made? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the pine tart is better for me. Mm. Just sweeter. This is way more savory. But I'm a savory person, so this one for me. No. Sweet, savory. Not chicken. Patty. 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 Not pie. Patty. Patty. Yes, chicken patty. Ooh. Yeah, good to always open it up if it just came out of the oven. It's like a little gift. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh. You like the filling? Love the filling. So we have corn here. We have some carrots. Mm -hmm. Nice spices, right? Lovely. Beautiful. Very nice. Mm. <laughs> it's like it's stacked, right? A sometimes, little parcel of goodness. Mm -hmm, sometimes you get it and it's just like too little filling. This one is like overload. Overload, perfect. Perfect balance. Yeah, I gotta like be careful here. Filling. Yeah, yeah. Too hot, too hot. Oh. Mm hmm. Good. Pine tart still number one for me. Cheese roll still number one for me. <laughs> Sorry, we have a whole crew out here watching us. <laughs> pine tart's amazing. So when the next time you're in Guyana, you gotta try all three pine tart cheese roll and let me hear you say it. 
Patty. Patty. Yes, chicken patty. Beef patty. <laughs> thank you so much. Should we continue, Dar? Yes, sir. Next time in Guyana, I'm coming right back here. Thank you, thank you. Let's go, let's go. Well, that was an exclusive tour. If you really want to try their stuff, go to their shop. This was their factory, right? Yeah, Amazing. New Market Street. New Market Street. All right, I think we have one or two more stops. Let's yeah. see, let's see. And our last stop today is here at German's restaurant for some soup. Let's go inside. Yeah, so here it's like buffet style, right? So they have all the food right here. The full menu. They pull up the city menu, what they want. The plate they pour it out with. Okay. We take it all right here for them. Perfect. So over there you order, and you come over here. They plate it for you. And over here we have the soups, right? The famous soups. Yeah. We got the chicken soup. We got the cow wheel soup, and we got the beef soup. So here we have three different soups. We have chicken, cow heel, beef. Now you can get the cow heel and the beef mix as well, right? Yes, yes. And then these are dumplings. Yes, these are dumplings. We have provisions over here. Oh, so the provisions over here? Yes. So we got some... Uh, we got some plantains, we got some cassava, we got some sweet potatoes, and we got some edibles. So what is that? Mobby. And right here we have mobby. So this is the bark of a tree. Oh, it's good. Mmm. It's it's nice. It's like it has like a fragrance to it. Mm -hmm. Drinking this, I feel like it's very medicinal. You know, like it's healthy. It's healthy for sure. Now to get in here, just drink it like this. Took the cover off. It's really good. Oh, nice and cold. Oh, so refreshing. Right now, it's like easily 38 outside or like 100 degrees. I was melting. Now we're gonna have some soup and some mabi. Mabi. So Stacy, we went with the cow heel. The cow heel soup. This is an iconic dish here at the German's restaurant. It's been passed down this recipe from generation to generation. So obviously a must try if you're visiting Guyana. And this is like a, what do you say, like those rib sticking kind of soups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very rich and full of... Very thick, right? Very thick and full of all kinds of good stuff. So I think we got some potatoes here. I think uh, and then over here we have the cow heel and some cassava and of course some duff you know about some duff. duff yeah, it's, yeah it's almost like a dumpling not a dumpling <laughs> very true and right. the cow heel is kind of gelatinous mm -hmm. but a man it's like pure so jello delicious. all right let's do it, let's do it. Mm -hmm. super gelatinous mm -hmm. yeah. mm. Oh, but so nice. I'm going diving in. This reminds me of like, I'd say like one of these corn soups, very thick, you know? Yeah, like this is real soul food. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? If, if, you, if you feel having a bad day, this is going to pick you up for sure. And on Sunday, soup is a big thing here. Soup is actually a big thing every day here in Guyana because you saw people just coming and going in here, right? Mm -hmm. It's amazing. You know, cow heel exotic in a way so you can go either beef or chicken i recommend this though you gotta try with the local say is the best right yeah for sure yeah they definitely yes. have a variety here including beef you can mix it you can mix beef it on the cow heel and chicken right here mm. mine just slid down my throat it literally just slides yeah it's like a slip and slide <laughs> <laughs> and here we have some more of the bark Another iconic thing here at the German's restaurant is the mobby, which is, um, as you correctly said, is made from a bar. Super healthy, refreshing. Describe this thing to me. I mean, I don't know. You know, it's, it's hard. It's hard, right? It's what I said. It's, it's, it's healthy, it's refreshing, it has like a fragrance. Yeah. Like this nice, like, I wouldn't say almost like ginger, but something in that line. It's like a cool sort of tea. Yeah, like a cool. It is like a tea. So, you're telling me the best part it's, is. Yes, the cow heel bone itself. I get in there. I love it. <laughs> mm -hmm. All those, the nice soupy flavors just mm -hmm. seep into there, right? The and, you, bone. and you have this little plate right here? Ah, yes. Drop it in. Mm hmm. Oh, that's good. Exotic for sure. <laughs> Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, do I have any more of that? Yes, I do. It's like bones everywhere in here. Mm. 
it's beyond good. But you know what? I don't want to put up too much on this because we still have one more. You're trying this out. You need enough. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. You need enough. This will like knock you out. Knock you out and cure your COVID. So let me show you guys. We have one more dish, and this is Metham G. So this is another one of like the staple dishes of Guyana, right? Metham G. Metham G is one of our iconic dishes, and I keep repeating that. But here are Germans. They claim to have the number one metem in the country, and I know you well, have metem before. But uh, how they're how they're serving it today is they're showing all the elements uh -huh. of the metem. So a must have in every metem is the dust. It's something like a dumpling, but fluffier. Mm -hmm. They've got edos. They've got the uh, sweet plantain or the ripe plantain. That's also a must. And theirs come with an egg fried fish, cassava, and steamed onions. So the steamed onions and the cassava on the, the bottom? Yeah. onions right there. Perfect. And this, of course, is the main ingredient of a metam. It's the coconut broth, coconut milk broth. So you're just going to pour it in? We're just going to pour this in. Okay. Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Look at that. It's like a coconut gravy. Yes. It's amazing. I'm going to get some of that duff. Some of the duff. They drown in the gravy? Yeah, and um, some, some of this fish. fried fish, yeah. It's a big bite. <laughs> Look at this monster um, right here. you got to have some of this coconut milk broth. No, the coconut milk broth is the best part. That's what makes this dish. Yeah, of course. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Mm. OMG. Mm-hmm. Wow. This broth is amazing. The broth is out of control. Mmm, wow. you taste corner. It's almost like you're having the corner flesh, you know? And I love the steamed onions. Mm-hmm. This cassava is buttery. Try, try the cassava right so, under here. Right here? Yeah. Oh, that one right there. It's right here. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Cassava. cassava. I think you have my doodle on the side. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. So right here, sweet plantain. It's too good, man. It is definitely a monster dish. You know, one so thing I've noticed, food. all this soap food will put you in bed. Like that's all it's for, right? Put you in bed. If you're not feeling well, this is the dish for you. Mm -hmm. This tastes like home for me. Right? This is home in a bowl. Mm, amazing. Yeah. Mm, what a dish. Lots of energy. Very rich in terms of like so many different flavor profiles here. You know, something uh, soft, something thick, dense. I love the fish. A little mm -hmm. fried, not too much. And we have an egg. Yeah. So if you want to get into the egg, but you know what, I'm going to hold off, I'm going to hold yeah. off. Stacy, thank you so much. It's been an amazing day. We hit up three spots. We started at Sunny and Sweeties for breakfast. We headed over to Maggie's and we sampled their pastries. You learned to make a couple. Mm -hmm. And now we're here at German's restaurant and we're having their metamji with some cow heel soup. The cow heel soup put me to sleep. <laughs> I'm like, now I got really tired. Between yes. the heat outside, the soup, I mean, you feel it, right? Yeah, we got to get a hammock for this guy, definitely. Yeah. But three iconic spots that you guys need to visit when you're here in Guyana. Yeah, they're iconic. You must do them all. We did this in a short time. I think we did it in four hours from 9 a.m. to like 1.30 right now. And that's it, right? So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Try to mention for more awesome travel content. We'll see you in the next travel food adventure here in Georgetown. Now, do they have a bench? Because I need to relax. <laughs> oh, my gosh.